In this video, I'm going to teach you how to code data from questionnaires, enter data from questionnaires in SPSS, and analyze data from questionnaires in SPSS. We have an example question here. American teens were asked what they know and think about fake news. So these are the questions. Have you heard of fake news stories? The answer was yes or no. Are you good at spotting fake news stories? The answer was yes or no. If you see someone sharing fake news, do you ignore it, call them out or share it if you like it? So those were some sample three questions from the questionnaire that was administered to the teenagers. So the data obtained from the questionnaire was as follows. Have you heard of fake news stories? Eight teenagers said yes and two teenagers said no. Are you good at spotting fake news stories? Six teenagers said yes and four teenagers said no. Do you believe most news articles are true? Six teenagers said yes and four said no. For the last question, if you see someone sharing fake news stories, what do you do? Five teenagers said they ignore it, three said they call them out, and two said they share it if they like it. So this is how we code the data. We simply assign or simply count the number of respondents for each category. The first thing is to go to the variable view section and enter the different variables for our question. So for the first variable, we can have fake news awareness. Remember, when you are naming your variables in SPSS, use an underscore to separate the different words. Also, do not use a symbol or a number at the beginning of your names because such names will be invalid. So the type is numeric, the wind is eight. Decimals, I put zero, that's the label. Always give your variables a descriptive label because SPSS uses your variables to make sense of the data. So values, I will enter some values. I'll say one for yes. That is if the teenager answered yes, they are aware of fake news. And two for no response. That is if a teenager answers no, that they are not aware of fake news. No missing variables or no missing data. For the columns, I leave it a line, I leave it. The measure is nominal because a teenager can either say or can either choose between yes or no category to determine their awareness of fake news. That's the first variable. The second variable, if you look at our data, can be, are you good at spotting fake news stories? Spotting fake news. Again, it's a numeric variable, decimal zero, and we describe this variable as ability of a teenager to spot fake news stories. We come to the value section, and if you look at our question here, again, the teenagers are choosing between a yes or no answer. Let's put the values here. One for a yes answer that a teenager can be able to spot fake news, and two for a no answer that a teenager cannot be able to spot fake news. We don't have any missing data there. Columns, eight, leave it at that, align, we ignore it. Again, here it's a nominal variable because a teenager can either choose between a yes or no answer of whether they can be able to spot fake news stories. Let's have the third variable. Do you believe most news articles are true? So we can name this variable as perception of news articles. Again, this is a numeric variable decimal zero. Again, we label this as whether a teenager believes that news articles are true or not. Again, for the values here, we can assign one for a yes answer and two for a no answer that they do not believe that news articles are true. No missing data, columns, align. Again, this one will be a nominal measure because the teenager can either choose between a yes or no answer of whether they believe certain articles are true or not. Now, finally for the last question if you see someone sharing fake news stories what do you do so we can call this variable attitudes towards sharing fake news again it's a numeric variable wind we leave it at that zero there so we can label it as action taken by a teenager towards sharing fake news for values here we'll have the different values for example we can see there are three main options for teenagers ignore it call them out share it if you like it now for each of these 
choices we are going to have a code so for example we can choose one for ignore two for call them out i press add three for share it if you like it we press add so those are the three ways we code the different options in what can be seen as a leak at scale of the different options that teenagers have towards sharing fake news there is no missing data eight columns align and finally the data will be nominal again because the teenagers are choosing between three specific categories and the categories do not have an order a specific order in which they are placed so that's how we code the different variables for our data so let's enter the data in SPSS you can see we have the different columns here representing the different variables we have fake news awareness spotting fake news perception of news articles and attitudes towards sharing of fake news so let's look at the data so for the first have you heard of fake news which is the first variable of fake news awareness so we had eight teenagers that said they are aware and two that said no so again remember we use the code one for yes we enter yes eight times to represent eight teenagers that answered yes to being aware of fake news and we put or we enter two two times to represent two teenagers that answered no of not being aware of fake news again let's go to the second variable which is spotting fake news so spotting fake news which is the ability of a teenager to spot fake news stories so the question was are you good at spotting fake news stories six students answered yes and four answered no so we put one six times to represent the six students that answered yes and we put no four times to represent the four students that answered no that they are not good at spotting fake news stories let's go to the third variable which is perception of news articles so the question was do you believe most news articles are true six students answered yes so for those students that answered yes we put one in six rows to represent the six students that answered yes and we put two in four rows to represent the four students that answered no they do not believe that most news articles are true finally we have the last variable which is attitudes towards sharing fake news so if you see someone sharing fake news stories what do you do five teenagers said they ignore it again for those who ignored we use the code of one five times five students said ignore it then we use the code of two to represent the three students one two three to represent the three students who said they would call out people who they see sharing fake news and for the final answer which was share it if you like only two students so we use the code of three and three to represent the students who said they would share fake news if they liked it that's how we enter data into SPSS you can see that we've entered the data in such a way that it represents the specific codes that we assigned for the different variables for example for yes answers and no answers if you use this button here called value labels we can have only the codes used for our data in some scenarios one represents yes or no and in our last variable which is attitudes towards sharing fake news one represents ignore it two represents call them out and three represents share it if you like it so that's how we code data in SPSS now we can perform what we call descriptive statistics for our data and finally we can draw histograms to represent our data we can perform descriptive statistics for our second variable remember you right click and then you choose on the descriptive statistics section here you can also use this button to run descriptive statistics so we click on it and you can see for our second variable which is ability of a teenager to spot fake news stories remember i told you to use very descriptive labels in spss because that's what spss uses to describe your data so ability of a teenager to spot fake news stories so 60 percent of teenagers or six out of ten were able to spot fake news while 40 percent were not able to spot fake news again that's descriptive statistics we can also run descriptive statistics for our third variable which is proportion of news articles we can click this button and again we see here that whether a teenager believes that news articles are true or not 60% of teenagers believe that news articles are true 
while 40 percent believe that news articles are not true again we can run descriptive statistics we right click 50 percent of the teenagers interviewed or 50 percent of the teenagers sampled would ignore fake news 30 percent would call out people who share fake news and 20 percent would share fake news if they like it so that's how we perform descriptive statistics in spss the next way we can analyze data in spss is to use charts so what we do is we go to graphs section chart builder we click ok here and we have our chart builder here we can start with a histogram and we can choose the simple histogram we drag it and drop it here you plot the different categories for your data on the x-axis and the frequencies will appear on the y-axis what do i mean by this on the y-axis we have the count on the x-axis we have the different answers that teenagers produce to whether they are aware of fake news we click ok and you can see a simple histogram here of count of teenagers awareness of fake news eight teenagers out of 10 or 80 percent of teenagers are aware of fake news while 20 percent or two out of 10 of teenagers are not aware of fake news so that's how we would represent our data in spss the second step or the second analysis we can conduct here again we click on graphs we go to chart builder for our next variable we want to see the ability of teenagers to spot fake news we drag it and drop it on the x-axis remember we have already chosen the simple histogram ability of teenagers to spot fake news stories we click ok and we can see simple histogram count of ability of a teenager to spot fake news stories so 60 percent of teenagers or six out of ten can spot answer the yes and can spot fake news and four percent or forty percent four out of ten of teenagers or forty percent answered no that they cannot be able to spot fake news stories we can also analyze our third variable which is whether a teenager believes that news articles are true or not again we click on graphs chart builder then we take this variable we drag it and drop it on the x-axis that is whether a teenager believes that news articles are true or not and then we click ok let's see the output of spss let's check the output we can see simple histogram count of whether a teenager believes that news articles are true or not so you can see six out of ten or sixty percent of teenagers believe that news articles are true and forty percent that is four out of ten of teenagers believe that news articles are not true finally we can draw a histogram for our last variable which is attitudes towards sharing fake news which is the action taken by a teenager towards sharing fake news again we go to the graphs section of spss click on the chart builder section click ok here and then action taken we drag this variable here on the x-axis and we can see the different actions that teenagers would take when faced with fake news again we click ok and let's see here so action taken by teenagers towards sharing fake news so 50 percent of teenagers would ignore the sharing of fake news or five out of ten again three out of ten of teenagers would call out people sharing fake news that's 30 percent and finally two out of ten teenagers would share fake news if they like it that is at least 20 percent of teenagers so that's how we analyze data in spss using graphs did you find value from this video make sure you like and subscribe to keep you in the loop for more of such videos in the future